Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cold Banker Dean, our Realtors. Today I'm coming to you from the master plan community of Veramindi in New Braunfels, Texas. I really like so much about this community, the location, the things to do, the future growth that they're going to have with like a hospital, um, college, Howard Payne University is going to have a unit out here, the, lots of parks, the New Braunfels High School is literally across the street from this community, and the elementary school is actually in the community. So there's a lot going on, and this is a wonderful location, central to everything you want to be at in New Braunfels, Texas. Anyways, the house behind me is built by David Weekly, and it is the Green, the Green Park plan. It is 3250 square feet, four bedroom, three and a half bath, and an office. It's also built on a 60 foot lot. Let's go check. One of the things I like about this community is the tax rate. It just got lowered to just over 2.1%. And I mentioned before the location, uh, we're just off of Loop 337. Uh, on the other side of the loop here is actually Landa Park. And if you haven't seen my videos on Landa Park, it's really a beautiful park. And they plan to build kind of the equivalent of Landa Park in this community. We are uh, five years into a 20 year plan for Veramindi. This place is gonna have, like I mentioned before, just about everything you want. Uh, perfect for a golf cart if you wanna just tool around in this neighborhood. And this house has a three car garage, so you have a place to put your golf cart. Anyways, uh, let's head on inside and see what this beautiful home looks like. Of course, if you've been watching my channel, I want you to hit that like button, it definitely helps out. But yeah, love the door. And David Weekly is in my top tier favorite builders because they do such, they take a lot of pride in what goes on behind the walls. I mentioned this house does have an office right through these little French doors. You can have a really good size office. Nice light in here. They got the can lights up, and up top. And I do like David Weekly as a company. As I'm filming this, it is early December 2023. Uh, the house is listed for 570, but they do have about 20K in incentives to play with. So you can definitely get the house, the price down, the rate down, whatever wants that needs to be done. But uh, yeah, this house is complete. So builders don't like to sit on completed houses long. So it's really good time if you're looking to buy a uh, spec home which is another word for the builder built this house and uh, they put all the goodies into it and now they're trying to sell it some of the goodies are three car garage tankless water heater and it's plumbed for a water softener it's a david weekly thing but there is no uh garage door openers but to be honest most builders don't put the highest grade garage door openers in them anyways. So this gives you an opportunity to go down to Lowe's or Home Depot, get a nice Chamberlain garage door opener yourself. They're not that expensive, but wow, look at the living space in this room or this house, a really good size island. It does have Frigidaire gallery appliances in it. So a nice uh, oven. Frigidaire gallery microwave. Nice. And not just a corner closet. Now pantry, this pantry is a little bit bigger than your normal closet. So yeah, if you got hungry kiddos, you need a place to put all that food. Do like the backsplash they put on there, very clean look. This is a gas community, so we do have a five cooktop burner. And uh, like the dark gray on the island and the white, a lot of builders putting those contrasting in it. And no 50-50 sink. It is stainless steel. Stainless steel does scratch up, but you can put those little grates in there to keep your uh, sink looking just as new as it did the day you bought it. Over on here, this side, you will have a place for your dining room table. And this is another David Weekly thing. They like to put, uh, Little portal lights up there, and that way you can still get light in the house, but still utilize this wall space. Because you, as you can see, you don't really want to put stuff right in front of the windows, but here you can put something right up against the wall and still get that nice natural light. Moving into your main living room space with a very tall vaulted ceiling, beautiful, lots of light coming in here. They do have the uh, fireplace tucked up in the corner 
So you have all this space on this wall if you want to put your entertainment system, uh, projector screen, anything you want to do there. Or you can put it above the mantle right there. Mantle's not so high. I'm 5'9". Got the camera kind of at my eye level so you can get an idea if you want to put a TV there or a nice piece of art and put your TV on the wall. All right, I'm going to save the master bedroom for last. But yeah, let's head upstairs and let me show you what the uh, other three bedrooms look like. But I love the fact they got the wrought iron in here. It looks really beautiful. We do got carpet upstairs. Got this nice little common room space right here. So uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want to play area. Set computers up in here if you needed to. A shared bathroom. Well, no, this is not a shared bathroom. This bathroom will be shared with like this common room space and this bedroom. But yeah, look at the size of this bedroom. It's a really good size bedroom. <coughs> David Weekly does have about I don't know, five or six uh, spec homes that are move-in ready right now. I will put that list on the end of this video. Good size closet. And then we're gonna go to these other two bedrooms that are kind of set aside back here. Once again, really large bedrooms for secondary bedrooms. These are really nice. And yeah, check out the closet in here. So yeah, if you've got a kiddo, I mean, this is bigger than uh, some walk-in closets for master bedrooms. Wow. So yeah, if you got a teenager that needs bigger closet space, that's got it. But you would be sharing a bathroom with the room next door. But you do got two uh, sinks, quite a few doors in here. But you would be uh, sharing the toilet shower tub combination squeeze out this door and then another good size bedroom oh let me hit the light pretty good size like a little mini walk-in closet not as big as the one over there but still good size I just realized as I'm videoing, one of my mics cut out on me, so I hope the sound quality is still pretty decent. But like you can tell, this is a beautiful layout. Let's go check out the backyard. This is on a 60 foot lot, so it's a, got pretty good width on it. And really big outdoor patio space. So it's really long. It's actually got two fans. Let me go ahead and back up so we can see it two fans the sun sets on the front of the house it's not that big of a deal when it's december but during the summertime it's gonna be really nice when the house is creating shade on your backyard and speaking of backyard it does come fully sprinklered see the grass is already in no no problem if you want to put a deck extending this a little bit longer longer to really make this a social place uh, David Weekly does put really nice windows in here. They build a very energy efficient house. So that's one of the reasons I do not mind promoting David Weekly. They really do build a solid home. All right, last but not least, let's go and check out this master bedroom. The laundry room is right across the hall from the master bedroom. Here it is, a nice uh, granite table there. Let me pull that wire out. I was tapping on my GoPro, my wire to my mic. All right, good size master bedroom. I do like this a lot. Plenty of space, some nice windows, but check out this bathroom. This is what I really like about this plan. Beautiful tile work, dual vanities, but they do have what David Weekly calls their super shower. So one of my clients I was just dealing with earlier today might be interested in it. They didn't want a tub in their bathroom, but David Weekly is fine with that. They love putting these super showers in. And one thing I like about the super shower is first, it's got a mud inset, means it's built into the foundation. But second, they got the controls a little separate from the uh, water uh, heads. 
So you can make sure the water is the right temperature before you actually get into it and get that little shock that we're all so familiar with, realizing the water temperature is a little chilly. All right, let's check out the master bedroom closet. Was a really nice long closet going all the way around. Actually, I think the closet about probably about the same size as the one upstairs, but this one's a much bigger shoe rack. And we do have your control box here. It's where all your Ethernet cables and stuff are all going to be ran to here, so you can have them all in one spot. And. Oh crap, I didn't look. Sorry, the toilet seat's still up. So, my bad. All right, let's head on out. Um, it does have your standard height doors. I do like eight foot doors, but uh, hopefully that's not a deal breaker for you. But in, in two story homes, it's hard to find homes that put the eight foot doors all the way around with a two story home, just because your ceiling's not as tall but definitely if you have a one-story home, you don't want that because it just makes it look grander. But this house looks plenty grand. All right, that's gonna do it for our tour of the Green Park plan by David Weekly Homes. Remember, it's on the market right now as of 7 December, 2023. The builder's asking 570 for it, but they do have 20K to work with for incentives or rate buy downs or whatever they wanna do with it. And it's a completed home and builders don't like seeing these completed homes sitting, so there might be a little more wiggle room in there. Depends if I've got a good realtor or not, and I'd be happy to help. Anyways, hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, if you know someone wanting to move to the Texas Hill Country, please share this video with them. I'll be happy to help. I'm a local real estate agent, and I know way too much about all these communities around here. All right, talk to you soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye.